Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about paint spraying booth. So let's look at the example first. Paint spraying booth. When an object enters a booth, the spray should start and continue for 10 seconds. After that, drying fans will turn on for 10 seconds and then puncher will be activated to push the object. That means there is a start button that will start the process and then there will be a sensor that detects that the object has entered the booth or not. If the sensor gets activated, the spray will uh, paint the spray. The spray will start and spray the paint for 10 seconds to the object and after that drying fans will turn on and it will dry the object for 10 seconds and after drying, the puncher will be activated to push the object. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. With that, we will be also using some timers like TP and T on. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. So firstly, we'll go to PLC tags and default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So the first input is start button. And then we have one more input that is the sensor. And after that we have some outputs like the nozzle, the spray nozzle, spray nozzle. So it is an output so its address will be Q0.0. And after that, there will be one more input that is the fans. Let's say drying fans. And then there will be the puncher. After that, we'll go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will draw the ladder diagram. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact that will represent a start button and then there will be one more normally open contact that will represent the sensor and this will be the nozzle. So this will be start button and then this will be sensor and it will be spray nozzle. And the spray nozzle will continue for 20, uh, sorry. 10 seconds for that we will use a timer operation that will be TP and the preset value for TP will be 10 seconds and after that I will open the branch add a coil after that the, the dry fans will get on and it will get on after the spray nozzle will turn off so for spray nozzle we will use a normally close contact and the dry fans will turn on for 10 seconds. So for that we will use the timer TP and the preset value for this will be 10 seconds. And after that, so the spray nozzle will turn on for 10 seconds and dry fans for 10 seconds. So after that there will be turning on of the puncher. So I will insert a coil and for coil there will be an on delay timer of 20 seconds. So the preset value for T on will be 20 seconds and this coil will be puncher. And let's say puncher gets activated for 2 seconds for that we will use one more timer that is TP and the preset value for this will be 2 seconds. After that I will uh, so when start button is turned on and sensor gets activated when an object is placed there the firstly the spray nozzle will turn on and it will spray the paint on the object for 10 seconds and when spray nozzle gets off the current flows through this and dry fans gets on for 10 seconds and after dry fans when spray nozzle was on for 10 seconds and dry fan was uh, open for 10 seconds so after total of 20 seconds the puncher gets activated for 2 seconds. So now I will start simulation. Click on load. 
and then finish. After that, I will start CPU, click on OK, and then start monitoring. After starting monitoring, I will switch to project view. Here we need to create a new project. After that, I will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. Right click here and click on load project tags. So as you can see here, when I turn on the start button, the spray nozzle doesn't get on. So for that, the sensor should get activated. So when sensor gets activated, you can see the spray nozzle is spraying the paint on the object for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, it will stop and dry fans will dry the object for another 10 seconds. And for whole 20 seconds, the puncher is waiting. And you can see after 10 seconds, the puncher gets activated for 2 seconds. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.